25 code violations and no work permit leads to an immediate evacuation of dozens of people staying at Motel 6 on Wrightsboro Road. Fire inspectors ordered the owner of the motel to stop work two weeks ago. But yesterday, the inspectors got suspicious and they went back out there. Liz Owens on your side investigating what they found. On the front door of Motel 6 is a stop work notice. Inspectors posted it 14 days ago after an annual fire inspection. So a red flag went up for him, so he contacted the building inspectors. They came out and they said, mm, there's no permit for this work. Fast forward two weeks, D. Griffin says the motel owner and the contractor tried to get a permit from the city yesterday. Did they stop? We don't know. Licensing wasn't sure if the contractor stopped work either, so they sent someone back to the motel. That's when they discovered that uh, there was more construction than initially thought and that uh, there were violations. Dangerous violations like faulty wiring, untested smoke detectors, and outdated extinguishers. It could be very dangerous, especially with faulty wiring. You know, that could start a fire immediately and you wouldn't even know it. Fire officials ordered an immediate evacuation of all of the recently renovated rooms, 110 total. I did talk with several residents, but none would go on camera saying management warned them if they talked with me, they could possibly lose their rooms. There is a regional manager here, but she wouldn't answer my questions. The only thing she said to me is that I needed to leave the property. Motel management did move some people to older rooms not yet renovated, but there are only 55 of those at the motel. I was told that people were packing up all of their belongings in cars and trucks and leaving because there was no more room for them. Now, the owner has 30 days to correct the violation, it's, or he'll face fines. We did reach out to him several times in the corporate headquarters, but nobody has returned our calls.